Hi, everybody. Um, welcome to episode four of Homes at Home without a baby. So I don't know if any of you are celebrating, but I am excited to um, be doing an episode by myself. Uh, you know, as great and as cute as Callie is, I love her to pieces. Super happy that daddy is home and with her because, uh, you know, being at home for COVID-19 with a child by myself uh, and attempting to work has been fairly difficult, as I'm sure everyone who's watched most of these episodes or anything on Instagram, um, you've seen Callie probably lose her mind. It happens. I think most kids do it here and there. Uh, thank you. We love you, too. <laughs> um, but... It's been really hard for me to work with partners and to, you know, talk to other homeowners or just make friends, talk to everybody. Um, sorry, reading comments. <laughs> and so having her not with me today is super important. I like to do it a few times without her. But anyway, um, I did a, a chat with Atlas Roofing the other day and it was a scream fest. It's really hard to kind of stay patient. I don't want to to get upset with her, um, especially with a video chat. She loves seeing herself. Yeah, mom life in quarantine, you got it. She loves seeing herself on the video. She wants my cell phone, she wants the computer. Um, no matter what I seem to come up with, you know, she threw a crumbled muffin into my keyboard. It was really, really great. But <laughs> you get through it, everyone's going through a lot of their own problems and a lot of other difficulties. So um, I think it's at least kind of relatable, everyone, you know, everyone with kids has gone through it a time or two here and there. Um, it does happen to the best of us. So I am a working mom at home, just like a lot of you out there. I'm going through the same stuff. I feel you, girl. It's hard. Kids ruin everything. <laughs> you know what? They're really cute. They're lucky they're really cute, let me tell you. <laughs> um, but Atlas Roofing was also amazing with me because they sang her happy birthday to try to keep her happy. They were fabulous. So I had a great chat regardless. Hi, how are you? She was just um, a little bit harder to deal with. And sometimes you get a little upset and depressed and sad and frustrated because you are stuck at home. And you know, today's a rainy day, so it's one of those days that are kind of difficult when you don't have a lot of people to talk to. So this is great for me. Um, last week, we were doing the front entryway giveaway, and I thought that was great. We seem to have a lot of participants. I'm really excited about, about it. So we picked a winner, and our winner is Rachel Eines. I hope I'm saying your last name right. If I'm not, feel free to correct me, I'm terrible. But this stuff will make your front entryway look amazing. You get some schlag hardware, some nice just visuals around the front, and it's gonna look so beautiful. I hope you're excited. But please, please, please leave us a photo of your before and after. Like, I wanna see how this door looks or this entryway looks when it's all finished. When it all comes together, like, yay, congrats, Rachel, it's so sweet. We're all very excited for you. Um, I feel like, oh, I'm a big fan of yours too, thank you. Um, I feel like it was a successful, thank you so much, you're all so beautiful. Um, I feel like it was a fun challenge and I, or a fun giveaway. I guess not really a challenge, but whatever. Um, and I kind of want to keep doing it. So we're going to continue this week. And this week we are going to give away um, a painted doormat for your front door. And how cool is that? I've mentioned mine at the front door, which is please hide packages from my husband. It's relevant. It's awesome. It's cool. These ones are really fun. Come back with Starbucks always. I love Starbucks. Oh, my goodness. Um, schlag hardware for your front door, which is amazing. I've talked about this so many times. We had it in our last giveaway. I have given it away in the past. You'll love schlag, fabulous. Um, and we're giving away a custom planter box as well. So speaking of planter boxes, I actually have a special guest joining me. Her name is Lauren from Lauren and Designs. Hi, Lauren, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, and Lauren actually built the planter box that you could win as long as posting photos of your entry day. So did you build any, what, what have you been doing since you're on quarantine? Uh, so I'm still working, but uh, I work part-time, so the rest of my time is spent at home just uh, DIYing and having fun. How much fun was this planter box to build? That was really fun. I kind of just made a prototype mm -hmm. and then perfected it and then sold a few so oh that's great how long do you think it took you to put the product together and that's a beautiful welded lamp it's gorgeous thanks <laughs> kind of more uh, affordable yeah why you can do it why we're all kind of stuck at home for the most part sorry i couldn't really hear that question oh, 
I said, are these kind of, well, I, I wanted to show people affordable DIY to do at home while we're at home. So were these kind of easier projects for you to do um, in your spare time or? Yeah, so I just pick up uh, lumber and just see what comes out of it. So yeah, I did those planter boxes. Um, yeah, the custom sign, that was fun. Um, yeah. Blanket ladders, the lamp, just anything. <laughs> Anything you anything you think of? Do you have any kind of? I'm always looking for a new box. Candice, I found the one who makes them. Um, <laughs> great job! And I must say, oh, thank you. She is a beautiful baby. She is a beautiful thing in the rear. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, I, I usually do a lot of DIYs at my house as well when I'm. I'm when I have the free time. Lately, it's a little bit different for me. So it's been really fun to see some of the projects that you've been working on at home. And the lamp, I, I love the lamp. I think it's a very unique, fun idea. Hi. Oh my goodness, Brazil, amazing. What's, some, what's your favorite project you've ever done? My favorite project? Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> probably doing shiplap in our mudroom. Oh. Uh, yeah, it was really cheap actually, and it just totally transformed the house. Uh, we bought our house a year ago, mm -hmm. and that was something that really made a big difference. Yeah, I think little projects go a long way. Um, I love this map. I've installed uh, installed this map before. It does transform a space. It is a, a a feature wall at the end of the day. It's not wallpaper. Yeah. It's not necessarily paint, but it's another fun update you can do. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. I'm so happy you know that it's a way to connect with our loneliness. Um, Lauren, it was lovely to talk to you. I'm so glad that we could include your planters and have you come talk to us for a little bit. Um, I've got to keep this going. So I, I wanted you to get back to work, but please go follow Lauren on Instagram. She's fabulous. She makes a lot of different fun DIYs that you can purchase and check out. So make sure you follow her. All right. Thanks, Sherry. Have a good day. See ya. Bye. Okay, so I have another fun surprise. Lauren's amazing. Her products are great. I do hope you check them out. But my other guest that I brought today, um, you may know her. You might have seen her before. She's been doing Extreme Home Makeover, and that's Brig and Jane. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you, Sherry? I'm wonderful. You look fabulous, by the oh, way. Oh, thank you. I'm faking it just as much as you are. <laughs> I'm in um, COVID lockdown with two boys, four and six. And it is a challenge, right? Yeah, four and six. You know what? So you are doing the homeschool thing. I am for one of them, but the other one wants to learn. And uh, luckily, it's only kindergarten. So my advice to you is just use grace. Like, you do not have to get this perfectly. And um, that's been giving me a lot of peace because I have also been tackling DIYs and work and all of it. Yeah, and how, how difficult is it at home by yourself with a baby? Or, well, I have the baby. Yeah. No. Boys, but it, it's really hard because they are busy bodies. They want to do so much, and you need to teach them, and you have to feed them. You have to feed yourself. You have to get to work. Like, it's a. It's, a it's definitely a challenge, but one that I mean, I love and enjoy, and I feel like has made me a more efficient person in business as okay. life has gone on because you don't have the minutes to waste anymore. No, that's very true. That's, you know, I almost feel like. Yeah, sometimes that's true, but then I find like when I have a few minutes to myself, I waste them and stare at a wall. Oh, totally. totally. <laughs> well, when in efficiency mode, it's like you have more things to juggle than you even knew were possible pre-baby. And I'm like, where was all this knowledge when I was in my early 20s and could have been using all these hands to keep all these balls up in the air. I know it's true. I, you know, I always thought I was busy and then I had a kid and I'm like, wow, what did I ever complain for? <laughs> like, I, I could oh. nap. Hi, babe. How are you? I could nap. I could do whatever I wanted. You have freedom. You go to bed when you feel like it. But hello, how are you? <laughs> um, so oh, how, how have you found lockdown? Has it been difficult otherwise or you are enjoying it a little bit? You know, I spent three months filming for Extreme Makeover Home Edition and the kids visited me once a week, but we didn't, we had three months apart. And so this, I, I chose to take a moment, yeah, oh. to, to just really um, enjoy that time. You know, my, my career sometimes takes me into different directions and very busy. Mm -hmm. and. I haven't had full days being mom all the time in quite a long time. 
Hi, Connecticut. How are you? That's, you know, I, I don't know a lot about how you film. It seemed like a huge production. Um, so, and I know that you travel a lot for work as well. So I guess that is true. Spending, having that extra time for family is, is very, very important. Yeah, because we were building a house a week. Each house was done in five days, which I know you know construction life. It was It was crazy. So um, yeah, definitely it's nice to lean in right now and be sort of forced into a moment of intimate motherhood, whether or not I was ready for it. But I think the recipe called for it in a weird way. You know what? I was saying that actually earlier today. Um, I was speaking to my, market, my marketing manager and... Um, you know, I went to work, uh, I was two months postpartum, I started going back to work. And so I didn't really have that full time stay at home mom experience. So it's like, Oh, you can juggle, you can do all these things, you have a little bit of help here and there. And now that I'm home full time, you're just like, wow, I don't think I really understood everything about it. But it is wonderful. It is great to spend that kind of time with them and create those bonds and the schooling. I'm super happy. I'm not homeschooling. Yes. And the bonds, the bonds are great. The bonds are going to be there regardless if you work or stay at home, I think. But it's nice to have the option to do both when you work for yourself. Mm -hmm. But I found that the biggest challenge is my own mind and the mom guilt. Mm -hmm. And all of that is more freezing than like actually just dropping them off for three hours to get some emails done. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You never know if you're doing anything right. I was saying this in another live I did that I have Sesame Street on almost all the time now. And I used to feel bad because it was like, oh, maybe you're not supposed to have, you know, TV on in front of kids. You know what? Anything to help you get something done. It's OK. You got to forgive yourself here and there. Yeah. And I look at the successful adults around me that helped me a lot when mine were little and looked at their childhoods and imagined what they were like. And I was like, no, I really like that grown human who probably also watched Sesame Street and turned out just fine. It's gonna be fine. The kids are gonna be great. <laughs> we're gonna get through this and we're all gonna be fabulous. Um, yeah. I did, I, so I did watch you on Extreme Home Makeover. I thought it was fabulous. You were great. Um, yeah. And I, I didn't know, like I was saying, how the filming was and how excruciating it was or how long days were. And I, I actually didn't know um, that you would have you would have to be far away from the kids. So that's really interesting. Uh, did you, like, how did you find production? Do you like filming? I loved it. And it's such an amazing show to be a part of. And that crew, I think, is so heartfelt in a different way. It's one of my first experiences in sort of TV design, right? Because I have a design business, but it's based here in LA. And we do construction all day, every day without a camera in my face. So it was a learning experience and one I know I was blessed to be on with such a just awesome show and message and everybody was happy and working for the greater good. Uh, that's part of the reason that it all made sense to take those opportunities, despite the strain things like that have on our families or our personal lives or our business back home. I knew it was something I wanted to be a part of and it was amazing to be involved with. It's just such a feel good show. And I think that's how our television series kind of relate is ours is always giving back to homeowners and families not quite building a house in every, every five days that's amazing but the feeling of helping people who are really struggling and really need the help is just so amazing and it, it's a way to give back even though you are giving the, giving everything you have and having those long days and you're not with your family you're doing something so amazing for somebody else and that's such a great feeling yeah and you guys you do a lot of philanthropy work yourself as well right yeah we do um mm -hmm. i've done a lot of volunteer work in my past um we do a lot of work. You know what? I just, we were talking, oh, sorry. I'm just knocking everything over. My, so, my office is. Then there's a baby in the room. Yeah. There isn't actually. <laughs> I, for the once, I don't have a baby in the room. This is just me being a mess. Hi, Rita. I love you. Um, my office is just in shambles. My life is in shambles. But you know what? That's okay. I think it's what we need more of during quarantine is some self-care. So uh, we don't focus a lot on ourselves. And now that we're all stuck at home, what are some of your suggestions for kind of self-care in home? How can you make the house work a little bit more for you while we're stuck here? So 
it's a work in progress for me. I want to say that first and foremost, because the tips I'm going to give, I'm not doing every day perfectly. And I just want people to know that because I think it's okay to strive for a goal and not reach it, but getting 50% there helps me. Um, right? So I, I very early on put together a list of like, here's my beauty self-care routine that I'm going to do every day. Mm -hmm. Every day, but I do see it, and I remember to put on the oil and like feel feminine and take care of myself. And as silly as that might seem, I think you or any mom can relate to just forgetting to put on your face lotion and sunscreen. Like yeah. doing that alone makes me just feel like I've taken those extra minutes for me throughout the day. Mm -hmm. And it only happens every once in a while, but that list reminds me that I have to put on my oxygen mask first. Yeah, you gotta, it's on the plane, you're right. There's a lot of things you have to do for yourself. And like half the time I, I find that I forget to eat. Yes, I forget to eat. Before. Oh my God, I think I've had some raspberries today. <laughs> I don't know what time it is in LA, but it is 2.16 here, so. It's only 11.15 here, but I also have not eaten. Um, so yeah, you need to take care of yourself and have some food. <laughs> Face oil, eating, you know, whatever you can get in. Some things are more important than others. I did put on moisturizer, so. Nice. And I think the bathroom in general is a really nice healing space. Even mm -hmm. with a kid, I used to love to put my kids on the shower floor in one of those baby baths. Yeah. It's like, we could just, oh, there's my bathroom. <laughs> oh, this is your bathroom. It is. I didn't even know you had that one. Yeah. So, and it's funny because I do a lot of um, bathroom design that's fr family friendly. So mm -hmm. like most of these, you can shower and put the kid in the bath and see them, which is really interesting. Yeah. Um, and I also just like a serene color tone that like, I love white in a bathroom because so mom's bleach, bleach is just our friend. We don't have to worry about maintaining any print on a nice towel, like just douse that thing in bleach. So what, it, what are some of your tips for a pre-existing bathroom? We're all in quarantine, we're stuck at home. How can we make it feel more zen and spa-like and beautiful for us with what we kind of have? What are some of the, your more affordable tips to get that done while we're home? Yeah, well, something I just tackled that I'm seeing behind you is wallpaper. I just hung wallpaper all by myself. Wow. And I had not done that in years. Like, you know, it's not something that I do every day. I have a team with me now. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted a space where I could feel that anchored in creativity. Mm -hmm. And I think that a lot of times our bathrooms, we can put wallpaper and it's not a lot of the wall because we either have baseboards or beadboards or a counter, you know, with a mirror in front of it. So there's a little bit of forgiveness too. If like you don't get your seams perfect and you're going above a sink and your mirror's going behind it. So I think that's a great way to add just some personality to a space you use every day. Yeah, something I agree. I do love a wallpaper as you can marble. I, I did marble in mine, but it's stunning. My bathroom is actually, to do right now. <laughs> my bathroom is marble too. And like we were saying, I do have a glass shower door. So I do put Cali in my washroom so I can have a five second shower. If I wash my hair, I'm super lucky. Um, I think wallpaper is a great way to um, spruce up an area. It can make it look very expensive as well. It is sometimes more difficult to install mostly when you come into patterns. Otherwise, at your right, bathrooms can be really forgiving because you do, it is a smaller space gen generally, which is yeah. No, you're and you're gonna have to have some patience to do it. Um, pick a busier print that's easier to line up as opposed to a mural. Yeah. Um, and I see Matthew's question here. Yeah. Sorry, I'm trying, I'm listening and I'm reading the questions as well. Right. <laughs> very small bathroom, how can we make it seem bigger and useful? What are some of your tips? Um, I overuse mirrors and I get blamed for it all the time, but I am A-OK -okay with a lot of mirror space in a bathroom. Absolutely. It's going to open everything up. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're making me want to redo my bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> um, I agree with you. Light colors, um, mirrors is a very great idea. I'm not 
the best at interior design. So I'm glad that I have your point of view there. But yeah, mirrors are um, amazing and light colors. If you're going to put dark in a bathroom and it's a smaller space, it's going to kind of look like a closet. So you want lighter everything. And light in general, as silly as it sounds, I just replaced the bulb in my garage. Like, you know how you forget those spaces and that it's important, but just by putting a super bright bulb in there, it's like the room got so much bigger. This yeah. And I did nothing other than change out the bulb. And I was like, you know this, Regan, you know this. Why did this take you so long? It's easy to forget. It's at your own home. Uh, one more quick thing before we let you go. I know I'm talking longer than I normally do. Everyone's really busy. Um, but if you do not have a bathtub in your bathroom, how do you make that space feel a little bit more spa-like in that case? You know what I just did? I took one of those outdoor ceramic benches, like mm -hmm. the little footstools that are also kind of like a seat, and yep. I put it in my shower. Oh. And I did it to be able to shave my legs easier. And also, so when the kids are in the bath, I could kind of like sit back and stare at them. But I'm loving it in there. It's And it's not, it's not made for that, but it's one of those little ceramic, like chair pot things. And it's, it's great oh, for shaving awesome. legs too. Like a little round ottoman sort of? Yeah, a little round ceramic ottoman okay. that is great as a footstool, as a seat. And I've been putting like my soaps on it. You know how sometimes you just don't have enough room to like pump the pump that you actually, so my big old body wash also sits on it and it's just at an easier height. And it probably looks nicer too. I just have stuff piled everywhere and my husband actually was just yelling at me about it. So I yeah. can completely understand that. Um, totally. well, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I know you're a super busy woman. I'm so happy that we actually got a chance to meet and discuss um, some of your work on television and what you do at home and with your kids. So please go follow Bregan Jane. She's so cool, so beautiful. Thank you so much for stopping by and um, best of luck to you for the rest of this moment yeah, who knows how long this is going <laughs> sherry it's so nice to sit down with you and thank you for having me and welcome to the mom club it gets easier and harder all at the same time but <laughs> thank you so much have a great day bye bye thanks everyone for listening um i'm sorry i talked you know it's 22 minutes now i apologize if i I don't know. You know what? I'm not sorry. I felt like talking to you. Um, have a great day. Stay safe. I hope you like some of the tips today. Please post more photos of your front entryway so that we can give you away these great prizes for this week, and I'll help announce some next week. Have a good one. Uh, enjoy the sun this weekend if you're in Ontario. It's going to be so nice. Bye.